Uh, hello everyone, welcome to uh, a new video uh, of chronicling my journey trying to learn the Spenserian uh, script. Um, this is the beginning of working on workbook number two. Uh, the previous seven videos uh, covered the practice of the uh, workbook number one and uh, video number seven was kind of a before and after. Uh, so uh, before I begin, I just really thank everyone who's been uh, watching and following. Uh, also, very, a very big thank you to everyone who's left uh, any kinds of comments. Encouraging comments uh, were very nice and the really nice feedback was also uh, really useful. Uh, I did ha get some some pointers on things that I might be doing uh, in a wrong uh, fashion. So uh, I'll be trying to take these into consideration uh, as we move forward. And so let me tell you how uh, I plan to, to approach this uh, workbook uh, number two. Uh, first is that uh, I practice offline for a, for a, for mo for a few, most of the page, and I and I, I try to keep like one or two lines spare to practice them uh, on camera here with with you. So that will be going through, uh, and uh, I'll try to cover a few pages uh, each uh, each video. Uh, also, uh, I'm very aware that uh, I'm I'm myself and and you were learning as we go, so. I'll I'll try to you know vocalize the things where I think I might be doing wrong so that if someone can help can you know help me and help everybody else who'd be watching these videos uh, give us some of these pointers and comments or at least if you're watching you would know it's like this is what not to do I'm trying to uh, to do the right thing but not I won't I won't always be trying uh, getting it right so if I know something that is theoretically should be done in a different way and I'm incapable of actually getting it done myself i'll try to highlight that as uh, as we go uh, so without further ado uh, let's jump in uh, with the first page in the uh, second uh, spencerian penmanship workbook and uh, another pointer that i got was that uh, i i uh, had to do with holding the uh, pen and with the speed, and that is better that I slow down and learn the correct form. So I'll be trying to do that along with you right now. So let's start with the first page in the workbook number two. And this was just about having a free flow of the forearm across the page with a continuous line and also with the number one. So uh, the correct way of holding the pen was between the first and second fingers having it, you know, like sort of here instead of here. And with the thumb, I think in this place and pivoting on the third and fourth uh, fingers. Uh, another thing was having it square uh, against the page. So I'm gonna have to twist this a little and raise the wrist slightly and uh, pivot on the forearm. So it's pivoting on the forearm, wrist not slightly raised, balancing on the nails of the third and fourth finger and holding it in this manner, as you can see right here. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of suffering a little with the with the with the position of the pen. Uh, so let's uh, let's just get on with it, see how it goes, and and let me know what you think. So it should be a continuous line going um, slightly up with a curve, and then down a straight line, up with a curve, down a straight line, up down straight. So here we go. I think that's kind of right. See, very serious silence there as I was trying to get it right. Let's just dip again, get some ink on this thing. And uh, here we go again. Wrist slightly raised. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, and then close with a seven. So let's try to do that. I'm not sure if I, you see, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with with the with the grip uh, because if if I do like as it looks here, I I, I don't know if this is really pivoting on the third and fourth well, let's 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 see one two 
three, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, that wasn't enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the number one is just a line with a slight uh, with with a slight inclination to the left, just that, that, that is the number one. So that's the first page uh, with the uh, free flowing uh, line and the uh, number one. Let me just tap away this ink blot right here. Second page was the letters I I U W I I U W. So. Let's check, let's, let's check this one out. I, I, U, W. So it goes with a first element. Okay. I, I, U, W. W. I, I. U W. So I'm going a little faster again, and I feel that's uh, it's not really working properly. So I'm going to try to uh, slow down again and pivot on the uh, third and fourth nails squarely against the page. I I U W. That word that, that wasn't really pretty. I I U W. I think that was a little better. I, I, U, W. The number two, as you see, is somewhat, so a little curve from here. And so the curve and you go back again, the number two. So I I U W and the number two. Uh, this workbook is mainly just trying, starting to repeat uh, some of of uh, uh, of the basic things we learnt in the uh, in the first wor workbook and adding numbers. So uh, hasn't in in these first couple of pages, nothing new came up uh, as of yet. This is the word none. So if we uh, go up, curve down with a U and you go up, curve up and then a U and down, slowing down again, trying to do it right. This looks a little narrow, if you can see here, this shouldn't be like this, it should be even distance. So, up with the curve, the U and down, up and then U and down, up and down something like something like this and the number three as you can see it's got this little thing and then wide so it's the little curve and then wide little and wide little and wide little and wide little and wide, little and wide, okay, little and wide. So that was the number three, uh, and uh, so that's the th first uh, three pages, and uh, that will be uh, enough for today. Uh, and I'll see you with uh, a new video uh, very soon to continue with the next few pages. Uh, picking up from the number four or in a few other uh, mix of letters we're going to be doing M-I-U. Uh, so thank you very much for following and um, stay tuned for the next video. Let me know what you think uh, so far and how you're progressing on your own journeys. Thank you very much once again and uh, see you next time. Bye.